All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna explain to you how to find the domain and the range of this function and write it as an inequality using set notation and interval notation. So let's start with the inequality, okay? So this is a function. How do I know it's a function? Because for every x, there is one and only one y. And when I do the vertical line test, if you remember from algebra one, it only touches in one spot. So I do know it's a function, right? Now we're gonna to get to the domain and range at the end, right? So let's start with this inequality, okay? Now, the first thing we're going to do is check out the x's, which will be the domain. Now writing the domain as an inequality, right? Okay. So what are my x's looking like? Okay, so as my x's go in this direction, they don't stop, they just keep, see the graph goes up, but the x's are kind of moving in this direction. And really, because the arrow's there, it goes up and 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 up to infinity, which, because it's the positive side, we call it positive infinity. So I'm going to write it as positive infinity, the x, right, put that in red, the x is going towards positive infinity. And when it goes on the left, does it stop anywhere? No, the arrow keeps going and this is going up, up, up. But as far as the x's go, it keeps sliding in this direction, right? Sliding, 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 pretty much to negative infinity. So my x is, there's no stop. That two arrows means they go on and on and on forever. And, you know, theoretically speaking, it'll go on and on and it'll spread to all the x's. It just won't stop. So my x is going to be greater than or equal to negative infinity. That means from negative infinity in this direction that we will have them. And it will be smaller than or equal to positive infinity. So it goes from pos let's say this is positive infinity, it's gonna keep going smaller, right? It's gonna go down, 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 and go up, 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 okay? So that's how we look at it as an inequality. Now, how do we write this in set notation? Well, so no, set notation is that exact same inequality, except we're gonna add something to it. We're gonna say x such that x, don't forget the squiggly line in front, such that, Okay, negative infinity, x, positive infinity, just like we wrote this, and less than or equal to, x, x is greater than or equal to negative infinity. That means it go, if for negative infinity, it go become greater numbers, and it's smaller than or equal to positive infinity. So if you think of positive infinity way over here, it gets the numbers for x get smaller, smaller, smaller as they move towards the left side of the graph. Okay, so let me go over that in red. X such that negative infinity. X is greater than or equal to negative infinity, less than or equal to positive infinity, and close it out like this. Now you'll also see that at times you can add, do the same thing, except you write X is an element of the reals such that, and you copy the exact same thing. That is also another way to do set notation. Okay, so you can use it with the E. I'm gonna make that element of the reals. You're just saying, you're just adding one extra bit of information that it's a real number, okay? But this is just saying X is these numbers here. This is X is a real number and it's between those numbers, positive and negative infinity. Now, interval notation, let's see. So interval notation, what we have here is very simply, that what are the intervals? Negative infinity, positive infinity. Now, does it stop? No, so we're gonna put a comma and we're gonna put parentheses. There's no end, it just keeps going on and on and on and on forever. All right, so that is the inequality, the set notation and the interval notation. Now let's take a funny little look at the range. Okay, so the range is going to be your y's. 
how would we write our y's? Well, let's take a look. So my y's, what's my lowest y? Well, I do have an endpoint, right? My inequality for y, it is the smallest number in zero. And what's the highest number? Well, as this goes up, my y's are going up, but there's no stopping because there's arrows. So, and this is in the positive side of the y-axis. So it would be starting at zero to positive infinity. Okay, y, right? And let me, let me use something, I'm gonna have to use something a little sharper for this. So, y is greater than or equal to zero, it's zero or higher, and less than or equal to positive infinity. Okay, that's the inequality, simple. Now we're going to use that inequality and write it in set notation. Simple, right? And it's squiggly line y such that 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to positive infinity. Squiggly line. Okay? Now if we were to write it at adding that it's an element of the real numbers, we would write y, don't forget the squiggly line, element of the real numbers such that 0 less than or equal to y, oops, yes, that's right, sorry, I messed up, plus positive infinity. And that's the only difference between this, this, and this is you're just adding that it's an element of the real numbers. Now, what about my interval notation? Well, we are going to go, where does it, where does it start? What's the lowest point? 0. So I write a 0, comma. What's my highest point? Well, there is no highest point. It's positive infinity, positive infinity. Is zero, does it go any below zero? No. So this actually, it doesn't go beyond below zero. So we have to, we have to show that. And the way to show that is to enclose it with the boxy parentheses. Now the positive infinity keeps going on forever. So we show that as well. And we show that as a parentheses. And there we have it. That is the inequality, set notation, interval notation for the x, and for the range, the domain and the range. And now one last thing which I already wrote here is the end behavior. End behavior is, well, what the heck is your graph doing? When x is doing this, what's y doing? We say y is f of x, f of x, right? So when x is going to a positive, to infinity, so when x is going this way, well, what's happening to my y's? Are they going up or down? They're going up. Are they gonna stop anywhere? No, because there's an arrow. So when x goes in this direction, getting higher and higher the numbers, the points, if I were to drop, plot all the points, the x's are getting larger and larger, as are the y's. So my n behavior, the behavior of the graph, as x gets larger, goes to infinity, f of x, that's the other way to say y, is also going to positive infinity. Okay? And as my x's get smaller, see this is the part, the negative side of the x's, as they get smaller, what's happening to the y's? It's going up. So my f of x, another way to say y, is going towards positive infinity because it's going up. So my end behavior, as my x is getting larger, my y's are getting larger. And as my x's are getting more negative or smaller, my y's are getting larger, positive infinity. That is the behavior of the graph. I hope that helps.